Hey guys, it's me again, Wayne. This is a project that I started back a little while back. My girlfriend was wanting a, a arts and crafts table. And this was an old, uh, actually a table from that she had around, but the top was completely gone. It was made of that old particle board, that fake butcher block. And you know, anybody that knows about wood, and when it comes to particle board, it'll fall, about, it'll fall apart just as fast as uh, your marriage will sometimes, because it's no good at all for anything especially if it gets wet. So anyway, she wanted an arts and crafts table. So I decided, well, I'll tell you what, I'll make a new top for it. So this is what I did. I got a piece of half inch plywood. I took and took a, I took a, a butter bowl after I got the, after I got it squared out. If you want to know how I got this plywood squared completely, I'll give you, go into comments and I'll show you how I did it. And I took the butter bowl I took and rounded the edges off. I cut them out where they were round first. And then one after I got that done, I took and I flip I took it. And if you look on the back side, I took and I made some edges all the way around using glue and some screws all the way around here. Now at the corners, what I did was okay. all right, now on here on the corners. I took a put I took a piece and I put it a little bit further out beyond the plywood edge and when after I got them all screwed and glued down and everything ready then I took what they call a flush trimming router bit so that it would follow the edge completely smooth with the plywood edge so that it's, so that way when you put your edging on it'll follow right around it nice and smooth and evenly and then, of course, these pieces here are really easy to put on. They're just straight pieces. So the reason you have to do that on the corners is because if you try to get it where it's going to be perfectly it with it, it'll never happen. And you always leave a little bit of a lip too when you do the, when you do put your edging piece on because that way when you it's going to have a little bit of a drip edge because this is going to be for outdoor use too. So, but anyway, and you can see what it looks like on the top. After it was all completely done, it's all been finished, sanded, and ready to go. It's ready to be stained already. But this was something pretty simple. And the edge pieces, all I did was I made this out of a piece of 2 by 4 lumber and cut it down to 8th inch lumber. Just made it out of 8th inch. And just bent. And then I took, I took and made it where I could bend these corners. Now, if you want to know how I bent these corners and made them where they bend around this plywood like this, just drop in the comments and I'll tell you how I, did, how I made it happen. So, Talk about and then, uh, and then here at the edge, of course, when I did bend it around each side, had it where I had to join them together. And if you want to know how I made these, where I made these, where they fit nice and tight, I can tell you about that too. But all you do is, if you want, if you're interested in knowing more about it, just give me a drop it in the comments, and I'll tell you more about how I made it. So, till I talk to you next time, and the next time I do talk to you, I'm going to tell you how we attach this, how this top is going, the legs are going to be at attached to the top. And there, what I'm going to be using is these right here. And I'm going to explain to you exactly how I make these happen. So, so until next time, remember, wood is what you make of it. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, stay weird.